Hello, uh, in this uh, brief video, we're going to talk about side-by-side -side navigation from all classic to new QuickBooks Online Harmony. As you can see on the left side, I have all classic QuickBooks Online, and on the right side, you will see new QuickBooks Online Harmony. So when you log in or upgrade to new QuickBooks Online, so this is the type of screen you will see. And this is the uh, old screen, homepage screen you have. So as you can see, it looks completely different. And uh, so people get lost. They can't find anything. So let's see if we can uh, help you. I'll give you some uh, navigational guide in this video. First of all, let's talk about the new QuickBooks Online. They have three important things here. The first one is the, uh, they call it company gear. So once you click it, this is where you have all the, uh, the settings, preferences. So this is where you are. And then you have the click the plus sign. This is where you enter transactions. And on the left side, you have blue navigation bar. So this is where you have customer center, vendor, employees, and the transactions, and the reports, and setting up the sales tax, and buy some apps. Okay, so let's go back to the old classic and see how we can do some navigational guide from old to new. So since you're familiar with the old one, so let's see the company here. So once you say, see the company here, you have preferences here. Company, preferences. So this is where you uh, do the settings on all QuickBooks Classic. Now you come down here. If you want to do the same, company, preferences, now they call it company gear, so you click it here, and you have the company settings right here. Company settings. So this is where you go. And then the next one is a customer. It's a customer center, and you have a customer center, sales receipt, estimate, invoice, receive payment, and some more stuff here. This is the old one, customers. And a new one, the customer center, is right here. separate one, customer center. And when you want to enter sales receipt or customer invoice, so this is where you come. So it's under create, a plus sign here, plus sign, create, customers, invoice, receive payment, estimate, credit memo, sales receipt, refund receipt, delayed credit, delayed charges, these two are New, newly added. So the, from here, customers, you come down here. So you invoice your customers and receive payment. Same thing here. You, you, you have uh, customers and receive payment right here. And estimate right here. Just customers estimate, customer estimate. And refund right here, refund credit. It's right here, refund credit. So it's basically invoice, receipt payment, sales receipt, and if you want to refund receipt from sales, for this one, sales receipt, this is where you come. So that's about it on the uh, sales side. And then uh, the customer one, they have the uh, statements right here. Customers, statements, and they moved in here, statement right here. Right here, plus sign, statement right here. Maybe they can find a space here, then just move it here. So the customers and uh, statements right there. Okay, so it's, it's basically invoices. If they, let's deal with here. So what happened to this product and services list? It used to be under customer. Now, where can I find this thing? Products and services list. 
So they moved it to the gear, the company gear. See right here, it's products and services. It used to be in here under customers, products and services list. Now they moved in here. Okay, and on the vendors, the vendor center is right here. Once you click the vendor, they're all here. And if you want to enter, enter expenses, they all come down here. So some of the expenses used to be under here. See, write check. Now it's check. It's under vendors. Write check, credit card expenses, cash expense, deposit, online banking, registers, transfers, more. So in here you have vendors. Under vendor you have expense. So this one is actually combination of uh, debit card, entering debit card transactions, credit card transactions, ATM, cash withdrawals, EFT, wire transfer, all kinds of expenses that takes out money from your bank account or if you are using credit card, this is where you go. Expense, enter credit card, right here. It used to be credit card expense under banking, now it's under vendors. So it's basically vendors, and then the vendor center is right here. Just click the vendors and blue navigation bar. Just remember now, the blue navigation bar, plus sign, company gear. And uh, before, before I forget this one, this is like a fine search thing. So if you want to search transactions, this is where you come, the, 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 the eyeglass thing. And the clock one is to see the recent transaction. It will list uh, 10 new recent intro transactions. And uh, so if you want more details, this is where you come, into transactions, the banking, sales, it will list all everything here. So register right here. So if you click register, it will basically take you to your, almost like a chart of accounts. And it used to be right here, the banking register, banking register. Now it's under transactions and registers. Transactions, register, banking, register. And uh, so the employees, is we have a, a payroll link, so this is where you are. And in here, it's basically, it's a paycheck thing right here. And you also fill out the time sheet. It's in here. So now let's talk about the banking one. So the old one, the banking used to be, if you want to write check, you come here under banking, they moved in here, right here, the check. The credit card expense, it's right here, expense. Cash expense, it's still the same thing, it's the withdrawal thing, ATM thing. And the deposit, so this is the one, it's in different location now here. They call it other, but list all the, you know, the banking transaction right here, the bank deposit right here. Used to be bank deposit right here. Now it's in here. It's in deposit right here. And if you want to make a transfer, deposit online banking transfer, or transfer from one account to another, so this is where you are. And under here, you, you also have a journal entry here under banking. Now it's in here, and uh, and the banking. If you want to print check, print checks right here. Now they move under transaction, transaction print checks right here, transactions print checks. Now this is the important one: reconcile. It's not used to be under banking, more reconcile. So, but in here, you don't see reconcile. What happened to the reconcile thing? Bank and reconciliation. So, they moved it to company gear and it's in here under tools. Under tools. So, so right now, as you can see here, customers, vendors, employees, banking. 
customer vendors employees banking click plus sign you will see all four right here except under banking you have reconcile right here now they moved it to reconcile right here under company gear under tools so and under reports used to be right here the report list company profit and loss more right here now it's under here blue navigation bar let's look for reports here right here and if you just there's a there's a zoom thing here if you just double click it it will list all the reports you need so this is these are all standard reports reports are almost like same as the old one they haven't added anything new so just click it here double click it here it will list all the reports here and you can customize reports here you just click all reports you will see all the report very similar like in here all the same nothing changed Here, right here so okay so now the reports will list everything in here profit and loss and everything here now it's basically they are here and a couple of other things when you once you click the uh, the company gear the chart of accounts is right here so this is like a company preferences from here from home so they moved it here and and the product products and services they all here so we click it so it will list all the products and services here and if you want recurring transactions recurring transactions right here and if you want to attach any documents so you can you can come here and upload all the attachments and attach to your uh, bills or invoices or any transactions you have And import data if you want to import certain data Excel file you can do it here and also if you are importing from QuickBooks desktop this is where you come and in here if you are importing certain uh, let's say inventory and you have a inventory list and you want to import it from Excel so this is where you come and the important thing is bank consideration is right here Bank reconciliation used to be in here. Now let's see, uh, they moved it over here. And the budgeting is right here. And the audit log, this is where they'll stamp all your transactions. That's right here. And uh, in here, manage users if you want to give access to certain people or the accountant. It's right here now. So it's basically the home page looks like looks like this. The screen, so this is a def default home page screen. People are kind of mad about it because you can't change anything. It's like an idle here, you know, this will tell you last 30 days and this sits there and you can't do very much. So if you're tired of this home page screen, you can always uh, Add another one, open link. This the uh, all you have to do is come here or any page. Just come here and uh, right click your mouse and it will say open link in new tab. It will just basically create a new page. So now we have a vendors page here, right here. So we have a vendors here. So you can close this one again. Let's say you want for uh, reports, right click it here, open link, new tab. So you have your separate reports page here. so you have the home page here and just for the reports here 
so basically that's about it you know uh, and uh, uh, I'll leave you with uh, uh, the, uh, the combine screen here so this, this is a combine this is the, uh, the settings you call it uh, uh, they call it the, the company gear and is the plus sign this is where we have all the listings here and the uh, blue navigation bar here so I'll leave this screen for a couple of seconds then you can look, just look at it see uh, uh, what's in here so that you, can lo you won't get lost uh, thank you for watching Hopefully you like like us. Thank you again.